Hello everyone, we're going to discuss chapter 2, the normal distribution. So, uh, I prepared two lessons for this video. So, first is lesson 1, introduction to normal curve. Number 2, or lesson 2, is understanding the z-score. So, we have three lesson objectives. So, first is illustrate the normal random variable distribution and its characteristics number two convert normal random variable to standard normal variable number three understand the concept of z score so when we say normal distribution so under parentia sa uh, inferential statistics na continuous type continuous type so normal curve distribution is a probability distribution that is symmetric about the mean showing the data near the mean are more frequent in occurrence than data far from mean so normal curve distribution is also known as the z distribution or the z scores or the z test so when i say symmetry Kumbaga, pantay yung distribution from left and right of a curve. Symmetric about the mean. So, mean nagfall siya sa center. So, showing the data near the mean are more frequent in occurrence than data far from mean. So, ito yung For example, ito yung in x-axis natin, ito yung y-axis natin. For example, ito yung curve natin. So, yan ang curve. Okay, so we have properties of normal curve. First is the distribution curve is bell-shaped. So, naka-bell-shaped siya. Ano? So, the curve is symmetrical about its center. So, kung diri ang center, when you say symmetrical, same ang distribution, diri asa left or diri asa right. So, symmetrical. The mean, median, and mode coincide at the center. So, ang center daw, dira daw ang mean, median, and mode. Number four, the width of the curve is determined by the standard deviation of the distribution. So, ang width sa itong curve is determined by the standard deviation. Kung sa itong standard deviation, for example, kung 5 ang standard deviation, so therefore, 5 na ilahang distance dira. Kung 10 ang standard deviation, so 10 ilahang distance. Anak. So, what matter sa standard deviation ko on sa itong numbers na iutang na to sa left and right sa to ang normal curve. Next, number five, the tails of the curve flatten out indefinitely along the horizontal x-axis, always approaching the x-axis but never touches it. So, ito yung tails ng ating curve. Approaching siya sa x-axis, mag-flatten lang na siya indefinitely, pero dili dun na siya mag-touch sa ato ang uh, x-axis. Mag-flat na siya indefinite. Na mag-flat indefinite. Pero dili, never dun na siya mag-touch sa x-axis. Ang tails na to from left and right. Okay, six is the area of the curve is 1. So, pag ang probability dira sa, sa curve is 1 or 100%. So, ang highest probability sa ito ang curve is 1 or 100%. Okay. So, next is the standard normal curve. So, why is standard? Paano siya, bakit siya sinasabing standard? So, kasi it is a normal probability distribution that has a mean of zero, 
made of zero and standard deviation of one. Kasi, standard siya kasi special siya. Whereas, gusto niya na, unlike sa normal curve, unlike sa normal curve, gusto lang niya sa, ang center sa mean, bisa kung sa ang mean, as long as no fall siya sa center. Pero, ang standard normal curve, gusto niya, ang mean niya is 0, tapos, ang standard deviation niya is 1. Unlike sa normal curve, bisag unsa lang ang mean, bisag unsa ang standard deviation. As long as ang mean ang fall sa center. Sa standard normal curve, gusto niya, walay lain. Mean niya is 0, ang standard deviation niya is 1. Wala na dyo yung lain. Wala. So, to transform normal distribution to standard normal distribution, we use the Z formula or the Z test formula, which is covered in lesson 2, understanding the Z scores. Okay, so let's proceed to lesson 2, understanding the Z score. So, Z score is also known as the standard score. So, the area under the standard score is known as the areas of the standard normal probability distribution. So, Z scores range from negative 3 standard deviations up to positive 3 standard deviation. So, kasi, uh, nakam up sila sa queries na ang negative 3 to positive 3 is mo to siya ang pinaka-approximate na uh, distribution na almost equal sa 100%. Okay, so we have formula Z plus X minus mean over standard deviation where X is the given score, mean and standard deviation. So, Let's have an example. First example. So, given the mean is 1010 and the standard deviation of 20. So, first is we are going to illustrate the normal curve. So, illustrate natin yung normal curve natin. Take note, properties of a normal curve, ang mean daw, ang given mean, mabutang siya sa center. So, therefore, since ang mean natin is 1,010, so, diri as siya ma-fall sa center, 1,010. Okay, next. Ang ating standard deviation is na determine sa width sa tuang curve. So, therefore, ang standard deviation natin is 20. So, from the mean na nasa center na 1,010, so, ang ilang distance or ilang width is 20. So, therefore, kung diri sa center ang 1,010, so, therefore, ang sunod is 1,030. So, next, is 1,050 then 1,070 so sa left side so ang 1,010 minus lang mo 20 so 990 okay ang 990 minus lang mo 20 so 900 70. Then, 900. So, 950. So, ito na yung normal curve distribution natin. Okay. So, ito na yung normal curve distribution natin. So, ang standard next is the Standard curve. Si standard curve, 
Ba andre pa rin siya sa normal ko, pero gusto niya yahang mean is zero and ang standard deviation niya is one. So, one, two, three. So, there is negative one, negative two, negative three. So, gusto niya Si standard curve na 0 ihang mean, then ang ihang width is 1. Or the standard deviation is 1. So, the standard curve is also known as the Z-score. So, pwede po na siya Z-score iyang pangalan. So, next is to transform normal curve to standard curve. Kung baga ang unani na curve, himuon na itong unani na curve. So, we use the formula of the Z-score. Normal curve, the standard curve, we use the formula of the Z-score. So, ito yung scores ng normal curve natin. So, muna sila. So, we use the formula for Z para ma-arrive natin yung answer sa Z-scores. Then, ma-convert na natin into standard curve. So, first is 950. So, pag substitute sa Z formula, magiging 950 minus mi na 1,010 divided by 20 na standard deviation. So, 950 minus 1,010 is negative 60 divided by 20. The result, negative 3. So, next, 970 minus 1,010 is Negative 40 divided by 20, the result is negative 2. Next, 990 minus 1010, the result is negative 20 divided by 20, the result negative 1. So, 1010 divide, minus 1010, so 0. 0 divided by 20, the result is 0. So, 1030 minus 1010 20 so divided by 20 the result is positive 1 so 1050 minus 1010 so 40 are the answer divide 40 divided by 20 the result is 2 so 1070 minus 1010 divided by 20 so 60 divided by 20 the result is 3 so therefore therefore from the normal Curve na scores magiging ganito na sa Z scores. Or simply, kung tama dun ka magamit o uh, Z score formula, pwede ra po na ederitsyo ni mo o sulat sa ato ang curve. Itungod lang ni mo. So, ang mean man sa standard curve is 0. Tapos, ang mean sa ato ang normal curve is 1,010. O, itungod lang na siya ni mo. 1,010. Okay, next. 1030, 1050, 1070, so 950, 970, 990. So, ito yung sa normal curve sa baba, ito yung sa standard curve sa taas. Okay, let's proceed to example 2. Okay, example 2. Our mean is 50 and our standard deviation is 4. So, since mean is 50, ang mean ibutang sa center. So, 50. Our standard deviation is 4. So, therefore, ang width sa to ang distribution is 4. So, 50 plus 4. So, there is 54. So, 54 plus 4, 58. So, 58 plus 4. 62. Then, there in the side, 50 minus 4, so 46. Then, 46 minus 4, 42. 42 minus 4, so 38. So, ito na yung normal curve natin. Normal. Okay, to transform the normal curve to standard curve, pwede ka magamit og Z formula, pwede po na direksyon ni mo ibutang dira. So, since ang mean naman sa center, so 50 
And then for ilang standard deviation, 54, 58, 62, 46, 42, 38. Or pwede po magamit ka og C formula. So, X minus mean over standard deviation. So, 38, 42, 46, 50, 54, 58, and 52. So, first is 38. So, magiging 38 minus mean at 50. So, 38 minus 50 is 12 divided by standard, negative 12 divided by standard deviation of 4. The result is negative 3. So, next, 42 minus 50. The uh, result is negative 8 divided by 4. So, result negative 3. So, 46 minus 50 is 4, negative 4, divided by positive 4, the result is negative 1. So, 50 minus 50 over 4, so 0. Next, 54 minus 50, positive 4, divided by 4, so positive 1. So, 58 minus 50, divided by 4, so 8, 58. Minus 50 is 8 divided by 4, so positive 2. So 62 minus 50 divided by 4, so 12 divided by 4, so positive 3. So negative 2, then you get it. Negative. Oh, same lang yapon siya. So ano lang kasayon ang Z score. So next lesson, sa lesson 3 is. Mag-explore na naman tayo sa areas and regions.